So I do recommend we follow the steps uh, without skipping any of the steps. So the first step is to install and configure RabbitMQ. So we can download RabbitMQ and we can also download something called Erlang. Now, before you install RabbitMQ, you need to install a software called Erlang. Erlang is uh, a programming language which RabbitMQ is based on. So RabbitMQ uh, installation requires that you have Erlang installed in your system. So to install it is also very easy. So this is the link we download Erlang from here. So I'm going to click on this link. We have that Erlang is downloaded right here. It's a simple uh, installation. So I'm going to just wait for it to complete and then we simply uh, click on the setup. So you can see right here that the download completed successfully. So I'm simply going to click on the on the file. It's an executable file and I'm simply going to run to install it. So um, all right, so this is the installation wizard and we are going to simply go next and um, I'm going to, my system is kind of slow. So I'm going to install it in uh, another location. Uh, I'm going to install it, but for you, you can actually leave everything uh, default, uh, the default location for me. I actually like installing applications in a in a in a, in a part that has no space. So I created a a, a program files uh, folder or directory in my drive D where I install uh, things like this. So I'm simply going to click on nice and uh, I'm going to click on install. So it's going to take a few minutes or seconds to install and then we continue from there. Right, so you can see that the installation completed successfully and I'm going to simply close it. And this is the, the step step one, we've installed Erlang and the next step is to set the Erlang home uh, environment variable to the location of our Erlang installation. And for me, the Erlang installation I would like to show you is in my drive D program files Erlang. So let me just come to my drive D, go to program files, sorry, not this, program files, and I go to uh, mixing up things. Um, so you can see we have Erlang uh, L 10.7. So if I open it, you can, you can see this is my Erlang home. I'm simply going to copy it. I'm going to copy this Erlang home and go to uh, create, just go to computer, this PC, and go to properties. In properties, we can go to advanced, advanced system settings. So in advanced system settings, just go to environment variable and choose. Now you can see Erlang home right here. So basically you can click on new. Uh, let me just delete this one. So I'm going to click on new and I'm going to type uh, the name is Erlang uh, underscore home. And the value is the directory of the Erlang installation. So I'm going to just paste it right here. And that is what we have and say, okay, okay. Uh, everything is fine. All right, so let's go continue with the next step. The next step says download RabbitMQ. This is a uh, link for the download for, for RabbitMQ and I'm going to just click on it uh, and it, is, it downloads. It's a very uh, small file, uh, about 11.5 MB. So let's quickly install, Rab install RabbitMQ as well. As you can see, the download is completed. I'm going to just click on it and the installation is going to begin. So yes, install. All right, so this is a wizard. And again, I would like to install it in my drive D in the same location for you. Feel free to leave the default uh, installation directory. That is also fine. All right, so I'm going to click on install and the installation starts and hopefully in a few seconds is going to complete. Again, if you are joining me, joining me for the first time, please subscribe. And if you have any challenges whatsoever in programming, database, or uh, whatever you do uh, related to software engineering, please feel free to reach me in any of my profile on Twitter, on Facebook, on, on just reach me on uh, Instagram, anywhere you can always reach me. I'm always here to, to teach because I made a promise that my knowledge, I'm going to share it with my subscribers and my friends. So that is what I really do right now. So RabbitMQ installation is complete at this point. We've installed Erlang, we've installed RabbitMQ. The next thing we want to do now is to uh, is to start up RabbitMQ. So to do that, I'm simply going to 
I'll open the command prompt. So I'm going to go to command prompt, CMD. Uh, I'm going to run it as administrator. Yes. Now we need to, in the command prompt, we need to go to uh, where we installed RabbitMQ. You can see RabbitMQ server here. And we have right here, open the SBIN and then take the directory because we actually need to navigate navigate into this SBIN directory. Uh, that is where we have uh, the RabbitMQ uh, executable files. So I'm going to say CD, uh, CD and to this place. For some reason, it doesn't go until you type D. Uh, if you know the solution to this, please let me know. So we are in this place now. So the instruction says, let's see, run the command rabbitmq server dot bat rabbitmq server dot bat uh, rabbitmq uh, dash server dot bat. So I'm going to hit the enter key. And hopefully this command is going to actually start up rabbitmq. Uh, so for us to actually run a RabbitMQ, there are two things we need to do. We need to do something called to enable our management plugin. It's something I actually forgot. And if we go back to the installation, we see that uh, if we go to to Icebeam, we have uh, RabbitMQ plugins, uh, which is this, which is this, which is this file here. So we need to run the command that says um, uh, Rabbit rabbit mq plugins uh rabbit mq plugins enable rabbit mq management enable enable uh rabbit mq underscore management so you need to run this command that was what i forgot and I'm sorry about it, but this is the, the command you need to run. And after this command, we can now run uh, RabbitMQ, uh, uh, RabbitMQ server start. So let's see. All right. All right, this is fine. You can see it's run correctly. So we can now say RabbitMQ MQ, uh, server uh, dot bot. I can't remember. I think, okay, yeah. So you need to run this command. And at this point, uh, it says already running. This is, okay. So let's go to services and let's stop it. So I'm going to go to uh, services. So I'm going to stop this for now. So I'm going to stop it. All right, so going back here, I'm going to rerun this uh, RabbitMQ dash, uh, dash server dot bat. So I'm going to run it at this point. Hopefully, it's going to start up. All right, so hopefully everything went fine at this point. Hopefully. Let's just go to the um, to the browser and let's go to the uh, to to the address. So I'm going to go to HTTP uh, localhost uh, localhost port one five six seven two. So this is a port. As you can see, everything started perfectly well. Okay. So basically, you need to enable management plugins and then you run the server.start and if it doesn't start go to the services stop the uh, rabbitmq service from running and then um, 
you come back to 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 start the server again. Now I'm going to start an application uh, Spring uh, an application using IntelliJ is going to be Spring application and we are going to build the application to send the message to RabbitMQ and then also retrieve from RabbitMQ. So I'm going to keep the page open right here. So let me 